Please don't attack me, sir. That's the bus stop. But the bus goes in that direction. Oh my god, and yeah, this is like, it's like Tuesday, right? So that is the shop where I always get my coffee. Like, it's so nice, but um, it's closed because it is Tuesday but yeah like this where I get the coffee and then this is like where I turn in to get to my place and that way is Puerto Viejo where I'm going now I'm moving after heaven to no frequencies I'm moving after heaven to no lately I've been doing nothing but myself I learned that I can do nothing at all and still feel my worth and I let go of the heaviness and throw my feet down earth my mind be on higher heights Working with the way that my mind is set, I built this connection to souls. I allow myself to be free. I no longer force it. Now I operate different. The motive was love, bliss. Always felt like something was missing. I raised my vibe and I noticed it's this. Love, that's my motivation. Fear no longer works. Assistant is shifting for 32 hertz. I unlock the magic inside and I no longer fight it. I just wanted to buy souvenirs and I like I bought things for myself. And no one can leave me out in the dark. I wake up the sun and the moon and the stars. And it's the best feeling. I wanted to buy my ticket and I was so glad it was closed because then I just went to the one next door and it's like so cool it's like I, like I pay 60 pounds and they take me like all the way like from home to there and like if this one wouldn't have been closed I would not have done it and it's like you know like it's like or like 60 dollars you know like and like the other one that I asked would have like here told me like 200 and something you know and not even until the airport or did they say until the airport I don't know but um, I'm so glad I, like I just went in there like on, on hinge like I don't know and now like everything is sorted you know like now I don't even have to worry about getting airport blah blah it's literally from my home to the airport and oh, I'm so so glad I figured it out and like he was so nice and so helpful and like that's what I love you know when people help me so much and mm, so nice and look I'm waiting for my bus and I hope it's gonna come because no I know it's gonna come because I checked the times right and then look like this is my view okay you can't see but li like that's the sea literally <laughs> The only one waiting. <laughs> I'm like, is it gonna come? Is it not gonna come? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> washing right but then he wasn't there and then I didn't go back <laughs> but um yeah I went today to leave it but like I, I went and he forgot <laughs> and he wasn't there so like there was another guy who was so sweet and he said he, he will tell him because like the guy is not here like he's actually also in Puerto Viejo he said and um and then tomorrow morning I can collect it or like morning okay because he said like oh yeah morning but I was like yeah maybe like 12 <laughs> or maybe like because you know my sleeping schedule oh, but look I'm working night time through the jungle so pretty um 
but yeah and then like, like and then i was thinking oh but like i don't know if i need stuff from from my thing you know like from the um clothing because this is like you know like i always have to schedule like when i wash because then i'm like oh what am i gonna wear but like now it's actually like oh look the light <laughs> now it's actually perfect what i've done because i bought myself like i didn't just bought the souvenirs or like the presents i bought myself clothes so like and it's literally a sleeping t-shirt and then like also tomorrow if i want to wear something tomorrow like because i got like a t-shirt i can wear it to sleep and then you know what i mean it's like perfect okay now it's like dark and you can't see so i'm just gonna chill with my fireflies and walk home oh my god my shopping bag is so heavy like it's like the beans and the rice i think um okay <laughs> I miss her so much oh my god like i asked her to clean like yesterday and like now it's like finally like clean again you know for the last few days and it's so cool because she like you know like i asked her in the beginning i'm like oh and where like the cleaning things and she's like yeah just let me know whenever and then like she cleans things for me <laughs> so cool okay okay so um what we got okay this is my food and then um and this <laughs> but let I me mean, you've kind of seen it already <laughs> because i tried it on but it's in here and i got okay i'm not gonna open the fit like i got like a t-shirt for my friend's husband uh for my friend um and like usually i never buy souvenirs right but for them it's because they um they <laughs> this one i got for me like I thought because like I thought it would go well with um, this one. I, okay, so finish one thought, right? <laughs> um, I usually never like buy stuff, you know. But like um, because they've been so like you know like they've been going through like a lot like both in their like families, you know. And then also um, the mom, like her mom. That's why I got her mom a. Um, I got some Santa as well. I got her like a cup. It's in here, like I don't know if I'm gonna open it. I think I might open it and put it like pretty in there, but like um, for the flight, this is perfect. And oh, I got soap for myself. Oh my god, I'm not finishing one thought, right? Because I needed soap, my soap was empty, and I thought, like, oh, castle soap, you know, like nice one, it makes a difference, like good soap. Um, <laughs> good soup, <laughs> good soap. <laughs> um, but yeah, her mom have, has been watching my plans since over a year because the first time when I dissolved my flat in 2021, ending like November. I gave her like my flat my plants i asked my friend if she can take care of them and then the mom said no me i'm gonna take care of it because her mom has like a whole plant sanctuary you know and that's kind of nice um and like she, she's been like taking care of them since like you know because initially i only was gone for four months but like then like i did all the house sitting and stuff and like i still don't have like a permanent place right um and then for myself I've got um, two t-shirts and that's why it's perfect like the because he didn't he forgot the washing right and then it's like one is like a t-shirt because I wanted one that says um, Pura Vida oh now I'm thinking I could have gotten this one for her for her husband because I got like a white one with blue but I don't know why I chose white but maybe it's like because I never see him wear white you know what I mean so like even in the shop I was like why would I get white but like who knows maybe he wants more white stuff and that's why it was in my head you know but now I'm thinking I could have gotten him green, but I mean it's too late anyways, and yeah, because I wanted to get like one with like Pura Vida on it, and then like for myself, exactly, I wanted to get one with, yeah, I could have gotten him the same that I have, well, too late, okay, um, Pura Vida, I can use this as a sleeping t-shirt because all my other stuff is like in the wash, right, and then um, I got myself a, um, Oh, this is so cool like something like it's like because this t-shirt I also got from the same shop you know like when I went to Puerto Viejo the first time and it's like the same but just in longer <laughs> and it's like a whole Dementor style like that's my that's my thing you know and it's just like a sack <laughs> I love this type of clothing you know like let's like try it on <laughs> this is so cool <laughs> it's just like a like a whole like a oversized sack vibe and like the material feels so nice because it's so flowy um and i love it and then like obviously i do something you know oh and then uh like with the hair and stuff like that and that's why oh yeah and then for anika's uh, mom i also got her like one of these ones but like this is my one like her color is like um this and then like a little sticker as well and it all goes into the into there but for me i got the scrunchie the scrunchie the scrunchie because recently i like this i like this uh 
grungy look, right? How where do I put you? You see like a little color pop and stuff because it's, this is like very much like hippie, you know, like um woman in her fifties, like hippie on holiday. <laughs> I love, you know, like I love the material, I love the thing, but then I was thinking, oh, like this already make like this one is kind of cool, so, but then I can use like the, the new hairstyle that I discovered, like with my makeshift fringe, and then like, just like the puffy bit, like, but I think I might have to wash my hair to, for it to work properly, right, but, um, and then I put this in here, like, okay, this is literally just like for test purposes, right, and then I put my front bits here and there and then it's like <laughs> it was like a little pop you know oh my god it's so nice i like it like obviously it's like a bit messy but like <laughs> that's how i like it Now, like, you know, sometimes when something, something itches your brain and it's like, mm, because now I'm like, hmm, I should have gotten him the green one, like the green t-shirt that I got myself, you know, with Pura Vida, but, um, it's okay. Ugh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to trust that I got the right thing because a lot of the times when you overthink things, then it's like, you know, you overthink like the initial spot. So I usually get the right things. And now it's just like a little souvenir that says like uh, Costa Rica, right? Like that they can hopefully use because first I wanted to get a cup and then I was like, oh, I actually got a cup, right? But it's like a pretty one for her mom. Like that one is like very nice. But like at first I wanted to get like the typical Turi ones. And then I was just, just because it said Pura Vida, Pura Vida on there, you know, like I love the saying here, like it's so nice. They say it just like to say bye or hi or like a greeting, you know, it's like Pura Vida, <laughs> like pure life was so cool. Um, and it makes so much sense here because there's so much life here <gasps> okay that's it oh my god i love it i'm so glad i'm so glad i did it and oh my god guys i'm so guys this is like always such a youtube thing to say right but i'm so glad that i like that the other shop was closed and that i just like that i actually went to check with the other one because now it's so easy like literally just like i've already paid it I'm, i just have to wait 6 a.m on saturday like just outside here and then like the big guitar case i don't have to worry about that either and yeah it's, it's just perfect oh my god i, lo I, lo I love this hairstyle so much it's so cool should have gone like this um this is the vegan cake they have at the shop this is my cafecito and i'm literally like i'm I'm doing manifesting like I haven't I haven't been manifest look <laughs> the hairstyle was like a bit messy um and I'm wearing my hippie dresses the next day by the way and I went to collect my washing right I got my clothes <laughs> they clean right oh my god wait right here but the guy wasn't there again and then they just like they gave it like the there was like a cleaner lady and the guy who helped me yesterday like, I don't even know if he works there or not and he asked the cleaning lady to help me with my clothes so I got my clothes and then I asked the cleaning lady like how do I pay who do I pay <laughs> and she didn't know and then she also didn't have change because otherwise i would have just left it with her right because i needed like i didn't have the five thousand just like that you know and then she said yeah like just maybe like next time or like whenever or i don't know because like i don't but like i have to i will go back and uh pay him right and then right after i went to get like my my coffee which is kind of wait is that and um like the cake the chocolate cake like she makes so many like she has always like three different type of vegan cakes like banana bread chocolate and carrot all of them are so nice um and um and it's so beautiful you know because her energy is just so amazing and she's like one of the owners as well and she like she works there and then she um like she bakes i think she bakes them herself and like i don't know like it's just so beautiful you know like it makes like a difference like you can kind of like i don't know like i don't know like maybe that's why they're so nice you know because like her energy is so nice and then you go there and then like your coffee is charged with her beautiful energy um but what I was saying, uh, look, I'm editing. Oh my God, this is all over the place. But I wanted to say it's like manifestation. Like, okay, let's start like here because I do, I do really think it's like a manifestation thing, right? Because um, yesterday was when I like left the clothes and stuff when I was like in Puerto Viejo and then like there the whole manifestation alignment thing started because I got myself this and like the Pura Vida t-shirt and because I wanted one like for myself and then like I feel like that is when the whole abundance thing started happening. And then like I bought that yesterday for myself. Then I, I, um 
went to get cash because I thought I needed cash to get like the bus uh, like from Puerto Viejo to San Jose and then like to get like an airport shuttle from San Jose to the airport which is like $30 or like yeah I don't know how much that is, like 20,000 colones or something and then um it's, it's confusing because they talk about dollars here a lot but I don't have dollars you know I have colones because I don't know like I'm um, like um pound pound girl <laughs> like not that I'm like heavy but like you know what I mean like the money and um <laughs> the little doggy is protecting the house. Oh, is it? No, it's not him. Like, I think it's not his bag. Or her bag. I don't know. Um, okay. Brain. Work. Work, 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 work. Um. No, it's her, I think. Um. Okay, so the abundance thing started happening then because like I just decided okay I'm just gonna get it for myself, you know, like whatever then I went to um, Like the cash machine to get the cash because I thought I needed the cash for like the transport and stuff then um, I went to the bus thing and then I like I ended up like because the office was closed, right? So I ended up uh, Poking my head into the other office and then like he was like yeah come in and then I booked it and I paid by card, right? And then now I have all of this cash that I'm not and then also I went to the supermarket I bought food I didn't realize like how little days I'm still gonna be here So now I have like enough food for the rest of the days because like on Saturday I'm leaving today is Wednesday um, and yeah, so I have more than enough food, maybe even like too much sauce, sauces, like I, I didn't think while I was in the supermarket, I got everything and like now I have so much cash and I, I like, I, it's not even that I can buy food with it because I have like, <laughs> like enough food here, right? And then like it's like an abundance of like cash and then um, also like an abundance, like, of, like you know, it started yesterday and then uh today like i went like this morning i went to the place to collect my washing i couldn't pay like they didn't have like you know what i mean like because the guy wasn't there like like i said before then i went to the um to my coffee place to to get my food i couldn't pay because they didn't have change so she's like oh can you pay later i was like yeah can, can i pay tomorrow because she always gives me like the plate and stuff as well because it's literally just 30 seconds and i'm there every day anyway sometimes twice a day <laughs> and then she was like yeah yeah uh, so basically like i got my clean clothing i got my coffee my thing like i didn't pay anything i have like an abundance of cash i like you know um and then was there i think there was like another thing and then since yesterday i'm getting um i'm getting these uh like calls to or like inspirations and stuff to do like the manifesting again like obviously like I, I do believe that we manifest our whole life right like as in like and then like if we are like unconscious about like our thoughts and whatever then like that is kind of like creating it or like even when we are con like because that's how what I've been doing since like years right I've been working on my mindset so I think good thoughts and that things happen or whatever but like I haven't like like I haven't like you know used any like manifesting techniques or whatever like i remember in 2020 i think i did it but i don't know because like but that like i real like i realized now that like all a lot of things that i tried to manifest like years ago like i'm glad that they didn't come to fruition because i got something better even though like financially it's not like where i wanted to be or like you know i don't have a place to live and blah 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 but like feeling wise it's like so beautiful i'm so glad that i got to this point and then also like with my music and stuff like i feel you know like i know like what I want to do and like I don't know like I'm so glad so that's why I've been kind of like staying away from like manifesting like you know writing things down or like you know like the techniques or whatever because I'm like oh I want to be open for you know like because the thing is my version now doesn't know what my future version wants you know and then like if I manifest like I, could, I would only like you know like do it from the past or whatever but like I feel like now like my brain and my heart are like more aligned or like my like the conscious and subconscious are more aligned so like now I know more of what I want like I have like a more like a like a stronger direction right so like then yesterday I came across a TikTok and then like that TikTok said exactly that she said like yeah maybe it's time for you to do like the active more active manifesting again um with uh like because you know like you're like it's like more incoherence now like what like and then also like I, I i was called to click on a video or whatever like yesterday like on my youtube was was it suggested it was like also manifesting and then i got came across but procter again and now i'm listening to like uh, talks from him like I, like i always like i still listen to like joseph rodriguez and stuff like i love him I, i'll link i'll link him down below i don't know like i love his videos like they're so cool um but um, exactly, so now I feel like kind of called to like actively manifest again, but 
yeah i don't know but like i still have like a little bit of apprehension you know because i'm like uh, i don't know if i really like you know like i never really know if i actually want that but i do actually want that i do really want a flat and i feel like manifesting is all like it's just getting like making yourself believe that it's possible you know what i mean like it's like changing like your thought patterns and stuff that you truly believe not just like consciously but also subconsciously to get it in there that it is possible like in my case to get a flat like without like the perfect referencing and stuff you know and i just have to make myself believe it because i feel like part of me is still like kind of believing like thinking it's not really possible and that's why you know like my reality so like because i like i can only explain it like that because i'm like every, like because of like when i didn't have a ha like a home like last year it was so weird because i never made that much money creatively like i made like some months i even made like 2000 or whatever you know like with my like my music with listening to the playlist um some extra work or whatever but like i still like it wasn't enough and then like I don't even like I didn't even pay rent you know what I mean and it was just like like it didn't make sense and then like the only thing that makes sense is like okay it is like part of the plot you know what I mean like it's like it has to be source because otherwise like I just didn't comprehend it right and now it's like a similar thing I'm like people manage to get houses and like flats and whatever and they have that so it must be possible for for myself as well and a similar like my friend she lives in Berlin and she um like she used to live in a room like years ago and then like she's like i remember she told me like everybody in berlin is like oh it's so hard to find a flat in berlin like it's not possible like blah 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 and then like also like the referencing or whatever and then um she found one because she didn't feed into that like fear and like you know like she made it possible and she got one and like a very beautiful one and i think also like without the referencing and stuff because she's like like it was through like um a friend or something um and yeah so it's basically just making myself believe that it's possible and then it will happen and that's what i'm doing right now you know so i, I do really feel like manifestation is like like you know like and now i'm gonna do it like more actively because what this is sucking my energy is when i look for flats and then like i realized like after like it's so such such a subtle change right but i realized like oh my god why am i why is my energy so moany and so complainy and so oh, sunshine <laughs> um you know like why is it so moany and complainy and whatever and it's what it's like every time i'm like oh okay because i just looked for flat <laughs> and i just have to like i want to make myself i want to make myself oh, oh, okay. i want to make myself like believe that it's possible and like you i'm gonna use like manifestation and stuff like you know and see um yeah because the thing is i arrive like i'm i'm like it's wednesday i'm i'm flying on saturday and then i arrive on sunday and it would like in like morning ish like like noon ish i arrive and it would be so cool if i had a flat for sunday and then i could you know move all my stuff already from the storage into the flat that would be so cool and then on monday i start the job you know <laughs> It's like, it's like, I don't know, like life is crazy, but I love it like that, you know, it's like <laughs> free spirit themed. Hey. <laughs> but if we're looking upon some and over many times, I like me as white. My shirt, white. my shirt is white. All this happened at Raymond. Right. When he speaks about the power of this law of thinking, we walk around every day. Fulfillment and enrichment of thinking is within us. Teaching, right? And yet, as serious as students as we are, we're still little thinkers relative to what we can be. And this <laughs> is the best example. Look, I still have this. Like, and like since I'm like since I discovered the cakes, I always do that. Like, I leave it. You know what I mean? Like, I leave like that much of a bit, and sometimes even to the next day or whatever. And like that is the perfect example of how much you can change, like your identity. <laughs> it's so weird right because before i always used to eat everything that was there like i couldn't but i feel like now i could even buy like two pieces of cake and not eat them directly you know but like it's like a sh like a complete shift in identity and like i never thought like there are multiple little things like that you know like my self from like a couple of years ago or like maybe even like weeks ago i don't know could never like do that but like now because i'm a different di identity i'm like whoa you know like i leave a tiny bit of cake it's like what because i'm the person who always finishes the whole plate or whatever you know and i feel like if it was savory maybe i would still finish it like i, I don't or maybe not I don't, I don't know because sometimes i even leave like a little bit of food now you know but like then usually two hours later when my stomach is like a little bit empty then i go and eat it but like i never used to be that person you know i always used to like i always finish <laughs> people's plates when i used to work for amazon the first time uh on the top floor we had a canteen and they knew back then i was just vegetarian right but like 
all be, we all went together to eat right like my because we were kind of like a school class because we all started at the same time and then um they knew like if the, if there was no meat on it they knew to just give it to me i didn't even have to ask anymore you know because all of the other ones they never really finished their plates properly <laughs> if it was vegetarian that what they had left they just gave it to me <laughs> like you know it was like the automatic response um and now like what i leave like a bit of cake there like to, because i don't really feel like you know eating like it's like excuse me <laughs> what timeline am i on <laughs> You can literally see the moon it's so pretty like i can't believe it's like my last uh like i told you i have like all the food that i need right it's just like i'm going to go get water <laughs> um but it's like my like tomorrow is my last day here like oh my god i can't i can't believe it literally tomorrow is my last day friday then saturday um i am back no saturday i fly back sunday i am back and then on monday i start work um, yeah no shit You realize you don't even have to do too much Cause you're always the best version of self Effortless In my alignment, my version of wealth Just when they come to me All the blessings abundantly They just want in my company And I don't run no more I try. Now I stop how so you open doors yeah. I'm always provided for I got everything I need Wow. Didn't even pay a fee yes. I just get it for the free yes. Keep it coming with the ease this could be a breeze if I let it be Blowing in the trees with good energy Every single moment a good memory When you really calm into that inner peace I'm all about that inner peace If it's not serving me, I release Transcending beliefs Nothing as I expensive That's my energy And another thought that I had Look at the moon, it's so cool. Um, and that, like, I'm literally just sitting here with my water bottles, like, just enjoying the view. It's so pretty. And I think I might have just filmed like a like a Canva for Spotify for like a uh, flow. Like, I don't know. I'll see. Um, but like discomfort is like, you know, when you oh my god, it's so oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, mm. discomfort. It's like such a, like, you know, when you feel discomfort, don't run away, like, it's nothing to run away from, you know, it's something, like, to embrace, and then, like, it feels so much more nice, um, like, you know, when you feel, like, uncomfortable, when you had, like, a weird, like, social interaction, or when you feel, like, oh my god, like, like, for example, my thing, like, where I don't know where I'm gonna live, or whatever, like, you know, like, small, little thing, like, for me, now it was, like, a social interaction, <laughs> but, um, like, just embracing, or like even me like filming here and then there are like people around and stuff and it feels a little bit uncomfortable but rather than thinking it should feel comfortable like literally just saying like yeah it feels uncomfortable and that's how it's supposed to be because like you're constantly expanding your comfort zone right and like comfort zone is like things are comfortable and then not comfort zone is like like a discomfort you know and then like when you like the thing is when you run away from it that is when it gets like you know that is when it's like me but when you, when you just experience it, and if the thing is like it's not forcing yourself either at all, you know, it's literally just being okay <laughs> with feeling discomfort and like also like right now like I feel like I'm really embracing like the cringe part of myself that isn't like that's like I call it the imposter because I got it from like a video but it's like the part of myself that says that senses parts of me, you know, like and like that is not like I recognize it now and I'm like no it's not part of myself, you know, like I'm, I'm fine like you know but like that imposter part wants to like regulate like you know how i come across and all of that but i'm just like no it's like my old like identity you know what i mean like i embrace the cringe and it's fine to feel um discomfort you know and like it's fine if when people misunderstand you and it's okay when people like you know when you are not like, um and it's okay when people you know don't get you or don't understand or if you if they think you are like rude like by accident or like because i feel like i had the thing of always like being misunderstood you know since i'm like a kid and um that's okay you know and like a lot of the times they don't even misunderstand you but like yeah and it, like when i was just walking like coming like i think i feel like i'm gonna go back because it's getting dark now but um 
when I uh, was on the way, like I filmed the way, right? Like uh, coming here, like to get the water. And there was like this truck driver and like he, and then, and then I looked at him and then he did like, you know, like, like, you know, with like a beautiful energy, not like weird, like colleague energy. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like it made me happy. Like it's weird, right? Because usually people say, oh, like catcalling, but it depends on the energy, I feel like, because he didn't, like it was not like to make me uncomfortable because I feel like a lot of the time, like, uh, like in the past like sometimes the cat calling that is uncomfortable is like the like when they want to take your energy and when they want like make you feel when they want to make you feel uncomfortable you know but when they actually just like expressing their love to you like I'm like oh thank you I take it you know <laughs> um, 